What's up guys, welcome back to DCA. Today what we're gonna do is talk about the DCA index. What this is, is a model for determining when you may be entering a market cycle top or bottom. Now, if you've ever seen Into the Cryptoverse by Dr. Benjamin Cohen, you may have noticed the risk metric. This DCA index model is very similar in predicting market cycle tops and bottoms to that of the risk metric. Now, to gain access to the risk metric, you have to pay a nearly $100 a month fee to gain access to the premium list. If you're a college student or you're fresh out of school, or maybe you're a new investor, you very well may not have $100 a month sitting around that you could put into something like this. But I feel like you should be able to access this type of information, even if you're in one of those categories or whoever you are. So I have come up with my own model and I'll show you today how similar this model is to predicting the peaks and bottoms to that of the risk metric by Dr. Benjamin Cohen. So guys, I just wanna say a few quick things. First of all, this is in no way a slight to Dr. Cohen. I feel as though his channel actually provides more value than almost any other channel on YouTube, specifically to investors. Secondly, this is in no way a plagiarized version of his model, other than the fact that he applies the principle of decreasing returns over time and diminishing volatility. He provides no information as to what goes into the model, nor does he say what data is used, nor what statistical analysis methods he's using. Okay. So guys, I'm personally using an econometrics and a machine learning algorithm toolkit in order to do this analysis um, in MATLAB. So the data that I'm using is all readily available on TradingView. And you know, I, this is all, just so you know, it's not smoke and mirrors. You can see everything is hard coded here into MATLAB. So like I said, Dr. Cohen does not give out this information. So um, I just don't want anyone to think that I'm just, you know, copying and pasting his model or something like that. It's in, it's in no way that at all. This is all my own research. So what I'm going to do is every day I'm going to provide where we're at on the DCA index level. And for instance, today we're at 0.559. So that would put us between the 0.5 and 0.6 index level. So I'm going to provide it at either the start or end of every one of my videos. So that way, no matter who you are, you can have access to this type of information. So the next thing I'd like to quickly do is just demonstrate to you how similar these models could be in determining when a market cycle peak or bottom is approaching. So on the top is the DCA index and on the bottom is the risk metric. So just notice how as you're approaching a market cycle peak, you are getting into the higher 0.8 to one ranges, okay? And you're doing that on both models. Same here back in the market cycle peak in May or sorry, April, you know, February to April of this year in 2017. Okay, so here's 2019, here's COVID. You can see how both models demonstrate when you're approaching these market cycle bottoms and tops. So they differ here at the end only after this point, And that's because this data, I don't have access to it. This is just a screenshot I've taken from one of the videos where Dr. Cohen happens to show this model. Okay. So he's showing the model and it cuts off right here. Whereas this is the current information. So like we said, we're currently at a 0.55 on the DCA index, okay? But nonetheless, you can see how similar these models can be in predicting the bottoms and tops. So that's all I wanted to show here is that, you know, this they essentially accomplish a very similar task. So guys, just to give a little bit of background on myself, I have an economics degree as well as a doctorate of medicine. I've been doing statistical modeling for equities markets, Forex markets, for sports betting, for different assets for about 20 years now. Um, so this, this type of uh, data analysis is not foreign to me at all. So I have a lot of experience in these fields. And I, I do believe 
in this model and I do believe that it will continue to accurately predict when market cycle tops and bottoms are approaching. I intend to publish every day on my channel at the start of every video where we're at, just a quick market update, so you can know what risk level we're at. So if you've ever seen Dr. Cohen's channel, you'll know as you go above say 0.6 up to one or 0.5 up to one, you should be selling slowly. And as you go below 0.5 to 0.1, you should be buying more and buying progressively more as you get down. So you can think of this as a smart money index. And that's because smart money will be buying in these levels, the 0.3 to zero level. They'll be buying down in the blue levels. Retail dumb money buys in the 0.7 up to one levels. So you wanna be selling to the dumb money and buying with the smart money. Whereas the retail investor on average is selling these levels, buying these levels. So the opposite, the exact opposite of what you should be doing. So you can see basically down in these dark blue levels indicates typically the best times to buy even these lighter blue and greenish levels. It's when you start to get into the orangish and red levels that you're reaching the max. So you may be asking, well, where are we right now? So at the time of shooting, we're at approximately 0.57. Now you may ask, well, where were we? Where was the peak at during this cycle? So we actually on February 21st hit 0.92. So we went above this 0.9 level on February 21st. So anytime you're using a model like this, remember these models are not there to extract every last dollar. You cannot say definitively when the market cycle peak is. So that is why you have a model like this in order to estimate when the market cycle peak may be. And as you approach these higher 0.9 and above levels, that's when you should begin to sell. It's up to your discretion when you'll start selling. Personally, I use either 0.6 or 0.7 to start selling because I like to take on slightly more risk because I do believe the model is quite accurate and robust and can accurately predict that you will ascend towards these levels. This is for people who are attempting to acquire wealth over time. Okay, this is not for day trading. You cannot use a model like this for day trading. So, you know, that's kind of where we're at, guys. This is the model. I'm going to publish this every day on my channel, right at, you know, either at the start or the end of every video. So you can see where we're at so guys, like I said, maybe you're fresh out of school, you're just out of college, you know, you're new to crypto, whatever your situation may be, this DCA index may be an option for you if you're interested. Um, you know, it's not going to be identical to the risk metric on into the cryptoverse, but there are a lot of similarities in identifying peaks and bottoms in the market. And that's the whole point. It's to increase your market intelligence and, you know, to attempt to time your buys so that your buys more so resemble that of smart money than retail dumb money who's FOMOing in up here at the 0.7 to 1 levels. You want to be buying down here at the 0.4 and below levels. So it's just a way to help you do that. It's a way to help you accomplish that. If you stick to a plan, something like this, whether it's this model or someone else's, um, you know, I think it will go a long way. So I think that's it for this one, guys. If you like this type of content, hit like and subscribe, hit the notification bell. And until next time, see ya.